So today we're going to be talking about psoriatic arthritis. Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Niall Bakshi. I am a board certified internal medicine physician and I'm a rheumatology fellow in New York. Psoriatic arthritis is basically an inflammatory arthritis that happens in some people who have psoriasis. 3% of patients who have psoriasis get psoriatic arthritis every year. So generally when we talk about psoriatic arthritis, we talk about what symptoms you have and that's how we treat the disease. So we'll break it down into five domains. So so the first domain is peripheral arthritis. So peripheral arthritis meaning your hands involved and your feet are involved. You also have the second domain which is axial arthritis. So that's usually going to be your lower back. We have the third domain which includes dactylitis. So dactylitis is basically you'll get swollen fingers. It happens when you get inflammation of the tendons around your fingers or your toes. What happens is a patient will come to me and say, oh my goodness, my finger is swollen up. I had to take all my rings off. And they'll look as quote unquote sausage digits. We have the fourth domain, which is enthesitis. So you have inflammation of the insertion of the tendons. The fifth domain is nails. So nails can present as pitting, and they can also actually sometimes look like fungal infections, especially on your toes. So it's really important to see a dermatologist and podiatrist to determine whether you actually have a fungal infection versus psoriasis. Now treatment is based on the kind of domains that you fall under and what symptoms you have. So not only do they include methotrexate, luflunomide, sulfasalazine, but they also include biologics like TNF inhibitors, IL-17 inhibitors, IL-1223 inhibitors, JAK inhibitors, and so on and so forth. It is really important to consult with your physician to determine what treatment is right for you. Other diseases to watch out for with psoriatic arthritis include uveitis and inflammatory bowel disease. So if you're having symptoms that involve your eyes and involve your gastrointestinal tract, it's important to consult with your physician as well. I hope this helped you get some insight into psoriatic arthritis. This information is for educational purposes and is not medical advice. Please speak with your physician if you're having any of these symptoms and have further questions. Also, please let me know if there are any other topics you'd like me to cover. I'll see you in the next video.